Hi guys, welcome to the Get Easy Tech YouTube channel. I am going on recording the additional circuit examples, and this is the sixth one. Okay, today I'll try to demonstrate full wave rectifier circuits. If you are wondering the fundamentals of this SPI software, there are lots of lessons in the beginning of this course. Okay, let's get started. I've already opened the uh, software and I've already built the uh, circuit configuration, and I think everyone is known. Uh, I think all of you guys know how to wire cables, how to place parts, etc., etc. Okay, as an information, and this is the okay, this is the uh, this part of circuit is also known as bridge rectifier, and there are circuit elements which is called uh, bridge diodes. It has four diodes inside. Okay, you can buy one of them if you want. And we placed a voltage marker. We placed a voltage marker here in the circuit, and okay. Um, uh, I think everything's ready. Let's create the new simulation profile. Okay, come this place, P spice, and new simulation profile. And name is uh, rectifier. And uh, click create button. Okay, this is gonna be a short video. Okay, um, let's uh, arrange the simulation settings. And it is gonna be transient analysis, and it's, it's gonna be time domain analysis. And the run to time is gonna be two seconds. It is two seconds. And saving data. Start saving data after zero seconds means that um, it is start saving. It starts saving data when you trick your circuits, and it is the meaning of that. Okay, uh, and maximum step size is gonna be zero point zero 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 one. I'm always saying that to try to keep the maximum step size value as small as possible um, to get uh, much more quality full quality graphs in your uh, graph graph window. Okay. Um, the the settings are done and click apply and OK. And now we are ready to run our simulation. Um, run your simulation by clicking F11 from your keyboard. Okay, the graph is coming now. Okay, where is our voltage marker? Um, let's let's add the voltage marker and after that we are gonna see the uh, output voltage, rectified output voltage in in our graph. Okay, let's look at this. Wow. You can see that the negative cycle of the sinusoidal voltage is disappeared, and that this is a bridge rectifier um, configuration. And as you, as you see that the sinusoidal five volt, uh, five sine omega t uh, input voltage is coming uh, to this place, and uh, the, this this di this uh, circuit element, the bridge rectifier, bridge diodes are uh, rectifying the voltage and giving us uh, a rectified voltage. I'm I'm saying again, this is not a, a pure uh, pure DC voltage, and to make it uh, so pure, uh, we we have to do some operations. But uh, this is not the the subject of this video. Um, okay, uh, I think everyone understands that the negative cycles are disappeared, as you see. Um, okay, it is a uh, three point something uh, sine omega t. This is the voltage value. Okay, that's that's all for this uh, lesson. Thank you very much and see you in the next next tutorial.